All right, 12 News at 10 continues now with an exclusive story, the Jody Arias trial. Of course, we all know it captured national attention. People were fascinated by what had happened with the killing of her former boyfriend. But now the gloves have really come off when it comes to the legal battle between the convicted killer and her former attorney. Kirk Nurmi is now talking exclusively with the 12 News Night Team about the book that caused that rift. Trapped with Miss Arias details the five long years he spent working with the defendant, Jody Arias. Team 12's Rachel Cole joins us from the Live Alert Center with details on Arias's bitter battle from behind bars. Rachel? Yeah, Nermi tells 12 News he stands by all the claims in his book. He recently gave up his law license, but looks forward to going back to court to duke it out with the murderer. I believe the comments I made in my book are a proper ethical response to what Miss Arias put into the public discourse. Former lawyer and now self-published author Kirk Nermi tells us most of our questions are best saved for the courtroom. I got to tell you, I really look forward to getting into court and disputing the allegations and the assertions that are made in this complaint. I look forward to offering the truth to a jury in whatever forum uh, is in front of me. After years of representing Jody Arias following the June 2008 murder of her ex-boyfriend, Nermi says he's done being a lawyer and stands by his words. I stand by everything I said in the book as being true or my accurate belief and my perception when I wrote it, when I published it. The lawsuit's allegations are unsettling, including, quote, Nermi reveals his utter hatred of Arias in his book. His intention was to publish a book exposing her confidences and secrets for financial gain. Nermi had a disturbing sexual fascination with the case and with Arias, end quote. Arias contends Nermi breached attorney-client confidentiality, but he says not a chance. That privilege is temporary. To my thinking, it ends when a client discloses that information in public. Which Nermi claims Arias did on several occasions, specifically in May of 2013, when jurors found Arias guilty of murder. Meanwhile, Nermi has willingly given up his lawyer license following an ethics complaint to the state bar. Nonetheless, he looks forward to his day in court with the convicted killer. Now, Nermi is not disclosing how many books he sold, and as of now, there is no court date scheduled. But, of course, 12 News will continue to follow this story and bring you the latest. We're in the Live Alert Center. Rachel Cole, 12 News at 10.